Okay, NFT domains or crypto domains, domains on the blockchain. We have a few guides. We've been so much here at Sky Include. This one, I'm going to register an unstoppable domain. And I'm going to show you listing some of these on the uh, OpenSea NFT marketplace. Okay, so uh, let's, let's just get started. So ENS domains, I already have one. And Handshake, as you know, I'm a big fan, so I have quite a few. So I'm gonna, uh, I don't have an Unstoppable yet. So I figure may as well um, just grab these now. So unstoppabledomains.com, might as well lock in our Sky Include brand on all these. So I'm gonna buy .crypto and .zill right now. But what I noticed, I didn't, I've never bought one before, so I figured I might as well. One time fee. Okay, I made a little mistake in, a, in one of my earlier YouTube videos about unstoppable domains. It's a one time purchase, okay? Uh, sorry for any, I know some people have been upset at me about that. And then, but there's still a fee to put it onto Ethereum for the dot crypto to list it on like OpenSea or other marketplaces. So I read this guide and I'll link to these in the show notes. But you could spend another 40 US dollars to claim it. So there's a $40 to register, which is the f profit or the fee that the Unstoppable Domains collects. But then there's the fee to put it into your MetaMask or into your Ethereum blockchain to then list it onto an OpenSea. Okay. I don't think I'm going to spend it. So what they're basically saying is you can buy that now or you could use your own ETH. And they'll spend up to, if you buy their credit, then they will spend up to $40 or 140 guay, which is the full $40. And then you'll be able to list it on, put it in your MetaMask wallet or others. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to spend this. I think I can use a credit card here. Yeah, by Stripe. Again, this is the fee for unstoppable domains we'll collect. I'm going to just cut this out. All right, so I just paid with my credit card, and I, you know, this is not on a blockchain, okay? This is Unstoppable's, you know, centralized company's merchant account that collects the money, and then the next step is to, I guess maybe I'll put a, ref I'll put this link if you want to use this. I think I get a commission, ten dollars. If they spend forty or more, just share this link, okay? I'll put that on, on the on the link if you want to. Uh, if you want to buy one, let's see. Okay, where is my account? My domain. So now I have some skyinclude.crypto. So see, it's unclaimed. So it won't go to like my MetaMask or something, right? Um, but I could claim it. With notice, there's no .zill here. It's different, different uh, blockchain. So I could claim with ETH, which would then charge. I think I need to verify my email. <sighs> but again, I'm gonna wait. Honestly, I'm not in a rush to do this. But you would, you could spend another forty dollars on top of the forty, so it'd be eighty, and then. Uh, they will help to put it onto the Ethereum Unstoppable. And then um, then I could use it there. But I'm going to wait till they have a more scalable layer 2 solution. See? So I'm going to wait. Okay. So now let's move to... Um, I did already in another video about ENS. You can see that ENS. Skyinclude.com slash ENS. Uh, computer's overheating. versus HNS and it's like a 30 minute video actually I registered it on the video there too just like this one but basically it's in my it's still in my history on MetaMask here and my computer is overheating I'm so sorry I did upgrade my Chrome <laughs> I should be using Brave waiting for them to integrate Handshake okay but you can see this is where I registered it see um, so I spent the five dollars to them but the 45 and you know the gas price in Guay. um so does that that make sense i i don't think so you can see i have my account i'm logged in through metamask see so i've 
gaskineclue.eth here. Okay, and then and then uh, okay, let's let's stick with that. All right. So if I go to my profile, Kiba showed me this. We also have skyinclude.com slash badass, badass.domain. So that's a bridge of handshake domains to Ethereum. So here's skyinclude.eth because that's in my MetaMask wallet, right? And then this is the unidentified one, which is the handshake.badass domain, which honestly, I'm even trying to help figure out how I can fix this to um, make it more clear okay but basically now this is where I could sell my domains right on the blockchain on the ethereum blockchain so if I wanted to sell these obviously ENS has done a great job integrating it so it looks nice and clean ENS domains sky include .eth. I could sell it right and then people would see it and it looks pretty nice and Maybe I'll make a separate video for this. Okay, I'm just kind of giving you the different. So there's .crypto .zil, right, with unstoppable domains, which I just registered. I didn't. I can't put it into on OpenSea yet because I I didn't do the gas fee. I could do that myself with my own wallet, or I could do that by spending forty dollars more to them, and then and then um, excuse me, I'm looking at a few different things here. So I could claim my own ETH or I could buy a claim credit and then apply that to get this onto Ethereum unstoppable blockchain. And then the third is Handshake, which, you know, we have so many, oops, so many videos about. But unfortunately, right now, there's not real, I mean, Namebase, right? You can buy and sell on Namebase as an NFT because the TLD, right, dot sky include, dot sky include is, um, something I could sell on the name base or like on shake decks. We've had a video about shake decks, but these are both on the handshake blockchain, right? So these are ones that I could uh, buy or sell the dot sky include, not the actual full, you know, like a my dot sky include. I hope I'm being clear. So you could buy, buy some of these dot DDR IR for this price right now through ShakeDex decentralized exchange, or you could buy them through Namebase, which is, um, you know, I could pick up, you know, some of this stuff. I don't know if I'd pay a million for that one, but you know, I could, I could buy graveyards or, you know, crypto, crypto Oracle. So if I buy these, I would then own this. Although it would be not on the handshake blockchain, it would be on the Namebase systems records for that transaction. Um, a little bit different. So I hope it makes sense. But, you know, some of the options to actually make these true NFTs was the the badass.domains, which is the fork of ENS domains, to bridge.badass, which is a handshake name to Ethereum. So that's one option. And, you know, the other is making subdomains of those. So like Mike dot handshake.badass and then it could actually have even more or there's a the new new one which I'm still learning Kiba and HNS fund is XN HNS which is bridging it's a cross network HNS bridging the um, handshake TLD to Polygon Cosmos other blockchains you know you can watch this video but I look all crazy there like I do here and check these videos and download a PDF so I hope I'm making sense here. So this is a dot badass is a handshake TLD, but handshake is meant to be a TLD, the root zone blockchain. And then we bridge the ideas, which I kind of agree with. I know some people want to do it all on handshake, but handshake is meant to be just a simple root zone um, instead of a SLD or domain name blockchain. So the idea is that I see and I agree with is bridging these to various blockchain, other blockchains such as Ethereum or even using even others with XN HNS and then minting those SLDs and selling them there. So I, of course you can also sell the crypt, you know, sell this one or sell others uh, or shake decks. You know, I'm going to, we have a video on that. It's kind of include.com slash shake decks. Of course, name base, there's tons of videos I, I have. And it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, but these are the TLDs, 
right? Which I believe are going to only go up in value. And then once we get this, got to pick my credit card. Once we get this set up, we can then have Handshake TLDs as SLDs across Ethereum and put them onto OpenSea. You know, we got to clean. There's still a lot to do. But um, we got to figure out how to, you know, the dot badass, we got to clean up a bit. But um, there's just so much that's opportunity to come. So I hope this makes sense. I know everybody knows Unstoppable and ENS domains, but there is Handshake and it is something I believe in. Um, but I did just pick up these. I do want to experience these more so I could claim this and I could list it. But I'm, I don't plan to, to sell it, but I just spent $60 to unstoppable domains to own the rights to these domains but i cannot yet list them onto the ethereum blockchain nft marketplaces such as an OpenSea, because i need to pay the gas fees but they are working on making a more scalable layer two solution that will be lower gas fees so i'm gonna wait for that maybe i'll make a video again i'm just trying to show everything as much as i can openly um these are the three different ways of having crypto domains or there's even more. We've talked about others, but these are three that I want to talk about today. Uh, and skyinclude.com slash NFT dash domains. We'll try to clean this up a bit more. You can also check out the skyinclude.com slash badass or badass dot domains. That's where we picked up a couple of ours. I can connect here and my MetaMask and I can, I can show the one I have. Um, again, I hope, I'm learning myself and I'm um, sharing. So I'd love to even learn more ways that you are doing it. You know, this one I have to pay yearly renewal. So it expires in 2022 for my dot ETH, $5 plus gas fees. Unstoppable is lifetime, which is pretty awesome. And uh, then I can pay a gas fee to list it onto the Ethereum blockchain. And I think, uh, I think that's it. But X and H and S, I keep agreed to do a video. We just did this one yesterday <laughs> and uh, we're going to do more of these because I think it's something we really got to learn about because then once Handshake is able to bridge TLDs to other blockchains, then of course Ethereum, which is what has already been hap happened with Badass, but I think we could use the XN, HNS, this bridge and contract so we don't have to have every single TLD make a new smart contract to bridge into these. That's what I believe it's doing and I will cover that more as I learn too so i hope all of this is helpful i'm going to cut this at this point but these are crypto domains or or um nft domains or, or domains on a blockchain basically instead of having artwork on a blockchain as an nft you have a domain name on a blockchain as an nft it could be many more things it could be there's so much more to nfts right basically it's non-fungible tokens instead of having ethereum or HNS token or BTC token, you have these um, items, assets on blockchains. That's really what it is, but this is about NFT domains. Thank you. Take care.